everyone, it's Michelle and welcome to my channel, Kansas Girl 1969. I am part of a great collab today that was put together by Lori from All That Makeup, All That Beauty with Lori. Sorry, Lori. And thank you so much for inviting me, Lori. I'm going to put a link to Lori's channel and all the lovely ladies in this collab down in my description box so that you can go check them out once you see my video. Well, you're wondering, what's this video about? This is my top five high-end makeup brands. So I want to show those to you and let you see what I'm loving. Now, that doesn't mean I don't love it, some other brands. And you might think, what is high-end exactly? Well, to me, that means something that you cannot buy at a drugstore. That's just what I think. And wow, there's a big range outside of the drugstore even. You could go some, to, with something hoity-toity that you buy at Lord & Taylor. You could go to something more moderate that you get at Sephora or Dillard's or Macy's, one of those stores. So I'll just show you what I have found that I like. And you can let me know what you like down in the description or in the comments. I mean, please let me know. I'm very interested. My first thing that I like is from Lancome. This this brand, actually, I knew about Lancome before I started watching YouTube videos two and a half years ago or so. It used to be that I would wear the Taunty Doll Liquid Makeup as my one foundation every single day. I loved it, and that was really, truly all that I wore. Now I am loving the Taunty Doll Stick Makeup. I've shown you this before. And in my first impression video on this, I told you guys that I did not think it was a holy grail foundation for me. But since then, I have completely changed my mind. I love this stuff. And honestly, I would wear it every day, except I think I have four or five other uh, foundations that I feel like I need to rotate into. So I have to make myself not use this. I love it that much. It applies so easily. It blends beautifully. It stays on all day. It's great. Now I do have a nearly empty liquid Taunty Doll makeup that I have in my office desk drawer for touch-ups. You know, if you blow your nose and some of the makeup comes off and I use that, but oh man, I love this stuff. Lancome's a good brand and I'm hearing more and more about Lancome as I watch other ladies on YouTube. Another brand that I love, number two, is Givenchy. Now this brand I did not know about. I think I'd heard about it, you know, in ads and that kind of thing, but I really didn't know about it until I started watching YouTube. So you ladies out there, you know who you are that love some Givenchy products, you lured me in to try them. And that's okay because I'm loving what I have. This is the Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation with an SPF 20. It's dirty because I've used it a lot. This is my second bottle. This color is Perfect Petal number no. two. It's really a little bit too pink for me in, in and of itself, so I usually mix that with another foundation. But I really like it. It is expensive, but it's lovely. It used to be my number one love when it comes to foundations, but now, hands down, the Stick Foundation by Lancome is my number one. Also by Givenchy, I have some powders, as you've seen in other videos. I love them. This one has the little beads in the lid. They call this one, it was a limited edition, Le Prism Visage. And it is sort of a blush and highlighter combo. Let's see if you can see it again. I've just shown this recently, but it's got all oh, like pinks and purples in it and a champagne color. It's really pretty. It's a subtle blush, but sometimes you want subtle on your cheeks and it's nice for using as a highlighter. And then this one is so pretty too. They do a nice job with their packaging. Poudre Lumiere Originelle has a little raised button that you push to open. And it has a mirror and a little cover on the powder. And the powder is a light pink, sort of a frosty pink, and it's embossed, but I don't think you can see that. It's gorgeous. If you saw it in person, of course, some of the embossing is rubbed off because I've used this a lot. I use it kind of as a highlighter. If you could see it in person though, you would think how gorgeous. And they do smell a little bit floral. It's not overpowering for me. And so I would say that I don't think it would bother most people, at least not the products that I have. That's two. Three, how about Too Faced? Again, I did not know about Too Faced until I started watching you ladies on YouTube. 
I recently, this is the Christmas set. I recently got this, the Melted Too Faced. What's it called? Melted Merry Kissmas, the ultimate liquefied lipstick set. I already have Fig, which is right here, I think. This is a chocolatey color one. It smells wonderful. I have tried it. I've tried it on a few times. It doesn't look really great on me because I don't do real well with a brown lip, but I, I haven't experimented around with it to see if it would look good mixed with something else. Let's see. And it also has Chihuahua, and I've tried that on before. It's pretty. And Lady Balls. Really? Lady Balls. <laughs> Strange name. But that would be the Melted Red, and I have not tried that one on yet. And then <laughs> I have this other lipstick here that's by Too Faced, and it was in a Christmas set for this year that I just got, and it's pink chocolate, and I absolutely love it. It's a gorgeous color, and it's a matte, and it's pretty. Okay, so that's Too Faced. It's turning into a lip extravaganza. That's just how it is because I love lip products. And number four, Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Again, had never heard of it till I started watching YouTube. I have gotten lots and lots of influence out of YouTube watching. All right, see if I have a problem. I have five of the Anastasia wonderful lip glosses that are nice and pigmented and gorgeous. I didn't realize I liked lip glosses until I bought these. And these are beautiful. Absolutely love them. They're very opaque. They're long lasting. They feel really good. And I just love them. I wish they would come out with more colors. There are other colors available, but some of those colors are too teeny bopper, I think, for me, like very super glittery, shiny, or um, really, really red, dark, dark. I can't do that. Um, let's see. I think some are super, super nude, which I can't do, but I love these. This is my only one that has a little bit of tiny sparkle. Oops, I picked up the wrong one. This is the one that I have that has just a little tiny bit of sparkle. It's a mauve, and I'm sorry, but I can't read these names because they're really super tiny, tiny, but I'll show you the applicator. I just put lotion on so my hands are slick. It has the little doe foot applicator. That looks gross doe foot applicator and it's just a lovely formula. I really recommend those. Okay, now for number five of my high-end uh, of my high-end makeup brands is Urban Decay. Yes, I did not know about Urban Decay either until I started watching YouTube and you recently saw that I bought the Urban Decay All-Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Love it. I think this is my favorite setting spray that I've ever tried. And of course the lippy products, right? I've got two of their newest lip liners that I really like. One is called Bing, Big Bang and the other is called Lady Flower. They're similar. And in the lipsticks, the ones that I really love is Rejected. It's a, oh, this is, let me show you the case. It's one of the new ones that looks like a bullet. And this is Rejected. It's a real pretty pink color. I don't think it's showing up in this light. Wow. It's really overcast out today and cold, and so we're just not getting natural light. And then I have a couple other of the old versions of Urban Decay lipsticks. I have one of them on today. Let's see. I am wearing, I think I'm wearing Sheer Rapture. No, that's not right. Here's Sheer Rapture, but that's not what I have on. Maybe I have this one on. Turn on. I think I have turn on. Yep, this is the one I'm wearing today called Turn On. Yeah, I'm loving some of these Urban Decay products. And I think they have a new eyeshadow palette out. I believe I just got an email on that today. And so I need to go check it out because it might be something that I want. I have not bought a really great Christmas eyeshadow palette yet because I'm waiting until one really jumps out at me. So regardless, that was my top five high-end makeup brands. So it was Lancome, it was Givenchy, it was Urban Decay, it was Anastasia of Be Beverly Hills, and one, two, three, four, am I missing one? Oh, 
I didn't show you a number. Oh yes, Too Faced. And Too Faced. <laughs> you guys are kind of probably thinking I'm losing my mind and you might be right. All right, well everybody have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to see the other ladies and thank you Lori for inviting me to be in this collab. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.